In today's unit circle survival guide, we will find an exact value using the SARC method. We'll find the cosine of two pi over three. So here's our template. Remember, SARC just helps us remember the order of the steps and make sure we don't miss any important pieces. So step one, sketch the terminal side of the angle. Step two, decide the sign using ASTC. Step three, find the reference triangle and corresponding coordinates. And step four, calculate the trig value that you want. And we want the cosine of two pi over three. All right, so when sketching this angle in radians, you may already know that this is in the second quadrant, or it may help you to label your sketch. So we know here's zero, here's one half pi or pi over two, and here's pi, a half rotation. And it really helps, I think, to rewrite that as three pi over three. So you have one pi over three and two pi over three must be here. So this is our angle, two pi over three. All right, so that falls in the second quadrant. We can move to step two where we decide is our final answer, our exact value, going to be positive or negative? And we simply use the acronym ASTC, all students take classes, to determine if our sign should be positive or negative. So all are positive in the first, sign and its reciprocal cosecant in the second, tangent and its reciprocal cotangent in the third, and cosine and secant in the fourth. So since our angle's terminal side is in the second, only sine and cosecant will be positive. Thus we know our answer, our exact value for cosine of two pi over three must be negative. And I like to go ahead and mark that for my final answer. Okay, so now we can move on to step three where we find the reference angle uh, and the reference triangle and coordinates that we'll work with. So our reference angle is simply the amount of rotation from our terminal side back to the x-axis. So that's here. So to get from two pi over three to three pi over three must be pi over three. Okay, and that's the same thing as 60 degrees. So our reference triangle is that 60, 30, 90 triangle. It has the shorter leg horizontally. So our X for our ordered pair must be one half and the longer leg vertically root three over two. All right, so now we can calculate. We want the cosine, and we know on the unit circle, the cosine of our angle is simply going to be the x coordinate. All right, so no calculation really needed. Simply look at the x coordinate, it's one half. We already decided that our answer should be negative in step two. So the cosine of two pi over three must be negative one half. Be sure to check the video description for links to more examples, and thanks for watching.